Yes. Question, there's a restitution petition 498A DV complaint filed by the wife. Mm. Petitioner has filed divorce petition. Petitioner husband evidence was discarded by the family, honorable family court because mm. he could not make the complete payment of uh, interim maintenance. Mm. It is a wife evidence alone and the contradiction during a cross-examination which led to dismissal of a restitution petition and ground now, of... Now what have you challenged? The entire proceedings? Entire proceedings. Why? Prashita, there's a clear finding that there was no demand for dowry. Husband has been... Where, where, who has, yes, who has yes, rendered that yes. finding? Who has given that finding? It's in the divorce... Uh, where order. is it? Yes. Prashita, can we uh, see page number 125? 128. 128. There's a... Divorce judgment. Huh. This has become final? It, this has become final. All right. Yes. Sixth, sixth line. Though RW when that is a respond, that is a petitioner here, hmm. has failed to tender himself a cross-examination. The facts admitted by the parties to proceedings leads to the conclusion that he suffered cruelty in the marital life due to refusal of PW1 for consummation of their marriage. And by showing this disrespectful attitude towards the family members of R RW1, which amounts to cruelty. This is with respect to cruelty. Roshi, with, with respect to demand for do a dowry, may kindly see page number 124, mm. para number 37. Mm. Though PW1, that is the wife, the respondent number two herein, has contended that he there was a demand for dowry. As discussed in the previous paragraph, she paid, she filed the set complaint subsequently after her husband filed the petition for dissolution of marriage. Even in the entire email produced for the court, both by the petitioner as well as by the respondent, there is no reference regarding the demand for, for the dowry. Lordship, with, with respect to uh, cruelty with the family members, may kindly see page number 125. Family members, only the husband is here. Why are you taking the family members? Lordship, uh, with respect to the payment of dowry at the time of marriage, there is in the cross-examination, page number 40, page number 140, 140. Mm. Paragraph number four, fifth line. Mm. There are no, this is the cross-examination, there are no documents to prove that we have given 5 lakh to my husband at the time of marriage. This is the allegation made in the present 498 complaint. And Lordship, with respect to the finding of the court, that, is, that there's a false 498A complaint made by the wife that is in page number 115. 115. 115. Paragraph number 28. Page, uh, paragraph number 128, 1, 2, 3, fourth line. She filed false complaint against him and his family members. Petitioner subjected them to cruelty, though the PW1, that is a, a, a respondent number two wife here, was subjected to cross-examination length in support of allegation made by her by the respondent husband in his pe petition filed for dissolution of marriage and MC. Right. Nothing has been as elicited in her cross-examination in support of her case. This is the finding of the yes. uh, family court. Also, before I go into it, when the came, uh, case came up yesterday, lastly passed one question, whether there was a discharge petition and there was yes. a submission stating that this petition has been withdrawn. Like, have, yes. I'd like to bring to yes. Lordship notice that the reserve petition has not been withdrawn and it is posted to 29-8-2024. It came on 28-5-2024, accused absent, EP filed and allowed for appearance of accused and to hear discharge petition by 29-8-24. Because I want to bring to the notice of the, what is happening in the trial stage, trial court. Lordship, leaving aside these judgments, this is, with, with, this is with regard to 13.1a and for restitution of conjugal rights. So now the real, the current, the current case that is being challenged is for 498a, 423 and 4 of Dowry Prohibition Act. Worship, hmm. there is a clear and specific allegation against each one of the... Each one is not before the court, only husband is before the court. The name is exactly. you concentrate on the husband. Yes, but there is a specific allegation against uh, on the on the husband, that there was a demand of the dowry and it has been accepted by the, admitted by the husband in his statement. Where? Okay. Okay. Lordship Stein addition, page number might be varying. It is 67, I believe. The statement of husband. 67. 
or it might be 68, I'm not sure about the statement of husband. Hmm. Uh, second 68, the first paragraph, it is in Canada, hmm. but the contents of this st clearly states that he has taken his wife to one person by name Maulana. After his returning from home of the after meeting Maulana, he has Tana demand for, for what? That, that is a different issue altogether. So that, that is where the he is also one of the person who was instigating the uh, petitioner's family for demanding 50 lakhs. That that is another story. That's another fact which has been deliberately dropped in the FIR. So the if you if you look, if you go through this paragraph, it clearly states he has admitted saying that he has demanded 50 lakhs and he has sent him, sent a wife back to her home. There is no case of decision, but it's a clear case there is a dowry harassment. There's a demand for dowry and there is a harassment. And also request the lawship to kindly go through the complaint copy of complaint of the respondent. Hmm. 5051, I believe. 5051. Yes. yes. Okay. Uh, it says this, this specific allegation against each one of them, including the husband. Let me read. Um, after engagement, I and uh, Abe started talking over phone regularly. Okay. Now, Both... don't, don't start from the Constitution 1950. Come to the relevant portion. I reached my in law's house. Okay. Here, I reached my in law's house at Ara 22nd April immediately. Hmm. Mara and Dolly, that is sisters of the petitioner, started asking me to hand over all the ornaments to them since it was not safe for them to safe to carry in train. Even without the consent, they took the ornaments forcefully. 420 minutes. Me, 420. my husband, and my mother-in-law and Dolly Sina, sister, with their family started on 23rd April to Colonel Dolly's house. In Colonel, they started torturing me mentally to bring 50 lakhs from my family at the earliest. I was asked by my mother-in-law to ask my family to arrange, be, uh, arrange it before we reach Bangalore. So the allegation is very clear and unequivocal that there is a demand for dowry and there is a, and the respondent too was harassed. Where is the charge sheet? Charge sheet has not been filed. You know. It is not here. Charge sheet is in page number 41. Where is its summary? Page number 42. 41. 42. 42. 42 and 43. That's the list of witnesses. Ah. Where is the summary, ma'am? Ah, hell anyway. So, we're not, so this is not like the the respondent wife has not roped in everybody. There is a specific allegation against each and every one now, including hey, you husband. had roped in everybody. It, it, they have roped in everybody. They have, they have roped in, in after everybody. After investigation, they are dropped. But the, uh, even not that, that, that the final investigation not. You have roped in everybody. Yes, sister, not. brother in law, sister in law. Yes, not. Whomever you got in your of, mind, at, you have roped at in. At one point of time, they have been harassing. All the family members, including one third person by name Maulana, the Pujari in some temple, he has also been instigating the person. So he is also an accused, is it? He is also an accused. Oh. Yes, sir. So this this com complaint, Lord. Is so where, is the, where is the charge sheet? Complete charge sheet. That was... When you produce, you should produce everything. Summary. I'll produce only summary. Ah, uh, yes, sir. Gosh, with respect to the allegations of Another the others and argument, with respect sir. to the statement the, given by the husband. One, one more thing, just uh. before you answer. Gosh, the, in this order, in this common judgment passed by the trial court, there was an there, there was an interim maintenance order for twenty thousand per month, and the amount is amount the arrears of uh, uh, interim maintenance amount amounts to ten lakhs. Till date, it has not been paid. No, that is not the scope of No, no, I, just, I want to bring to the notice of the lordship the done. nature of the person who has been attempting to derail every other proceedings that has been initiated by the respondent wife. You have children? No, 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 they, they had lived only for 46 days. They have lived only for 46 days together. And even after that, she was sent away very tactically for a function. And then. Function? There was a function. There was some function just mentioned. So you didn't come back after the function. They never come back. No, you didn't come back. No, th that was that was also observed in the lawship style check that he, the petitioner husband has deliberately avoided taking her back by not giving her the correct address. What of, correct address? From where did you go to the function? 
from bangalore from bangalore to patna bihar and oh function you went to patna yes me lord you knew from where you went yes me lord you should have come back to the same yes, address they came back so she, the house was locked and she was informed that before two months they have vacated the place husband how much time you went for a function it was for a uh, for six months period but it six extended months function yes me lord no it has been deliberate it was only for one month but the husband deliberately avoided taking her back on one pretext though there are many attempts were made made by the british uh, respondents family to unite them request the just one one, one yes, minute please, sir Uh, page number one one ten blood of the reasoning part of the judgment one ten one ten mm. okay the email correspondence in exhibit P five lost it there mm. clearly shows that at the instance of R W one the the parents of P W one kept their daughter in their house for six months on completion of the time prescribed by the respondent R W one the petitioner and the family members started insisting him to take her back to her matrimonial home expressing their willingness to send the daughter P W one to her matrimonial home the contents of Exhibit P five supports the case of the petitioner wife that the respondent sent her to the parents' house for some ceremony, assuring that her return date will be decided after fifteen days, and was also sent his mother to her hometown. Thereafter, he started making excuses that he has problem in his job and he and is going to Mysore on the duty and is going to stay in office guest house. The contents of exhi exhibit negatives the case of the respondent. The piece alleged the petitioner failed to return to her matrimonial home after the ceremony. So there has been a lot of it has been a pre-planned attempt, planned attempt by the petitioner husband to avoid, mm. uh, refuse to take back the respondent wife. Who filed restitution of conjugal rights? Restitution of conjugal rights filed with the uh, wife, which is dismissed. Why is it dismissed? <clears throat> because because you did not come back from the function at all. No, my lord. That's why it is dismissed. That, that, that is the reason that isn't mentioned. She came back from the function. It has been recently. It's a part of the judgment. No, don't been... generate tension because of function. We will see. No, no. I'm just yes. reading out from the judgment copy, saying that where, how the. Where is the uh, summary of the charge sheet, madam? I'll produce it. Should you not produce entire documents? Heard the learned counsel appearing for the petitioner and the counsel appearing for the respondent. The petitioner. Shall place on record the entire charge sheet as it is short placed before the court. List day after tomorrow in the fresh matters list. The poster after twenty because the, the next hearing date of hearing of uh, discharge petition is twenty eighth, Milan. Twenty eighth so, of this month. Yes, Milan. July. Yes, Milan. I will not permit that to happen. Don't worry. Yes. Sachi, we have already not pressed the discharge application. We are producing the memo. By then, by then, get it. Yes, we'll advance. Yes. Online, online application shows it has been posted for next year. I'm posting it day after tomorrow. Yes. Get the charge sheet material. Yes, yes. Publish and get it. Not the entire material, madam. I want, only want the summary of the charge sheet. Okay. Say, Nima Tridya. Nima Tridya. I think you will get it faster than Get it. Yes. Tuesday, uh, sorry, Thursday in the Fresh Matters list. Publish. 